Hola mis amigos patrones, señoritas. We're in Lake Ozarks. And Lake Ozarks is in Missouri. We had across several states. First one being Kentucky, which I've never been. Um, after passing Nashville. And then from there, Illinois. I think there's something else like in between. But finally here, it took a total of 12 hours to get here. Rounding it off maybe 13 hours. But this is our first uh, destination spot. So we actually arrived at the four, the Lodge of the Four Seasons. Uh, prices are pretty good. They're not too bad. They're two, what is it, $290 uh, for two nights. Uh, you split that up between two people, it actually ends up being pretty cheap. So if you guys ever want to come here and check out Lake Ozarks, definitely recommendation to check into this place. On the distance, you also have access to these boat docks here. You can do boating, uh, you can rent boats here, and you can rent jet skis, do that sort of thing. This is the place for you, 100%. And this lake is absolutely huge, and there's several different drop-off spots that you can actually um, try to go to. And you can literally just park your jet ski out there and just leave it there and just, you know, check out restaurants that are actually on the docks by the waters. And mind you, you know, at a perfect temperature around 70 degrees, you cannot beat that because you actually get the ocean view as you're eating your food. Imagine that. So you're eating good food and at the same time you are enjoying the views here. So like as we're going to be like walking down this road here, there's a, seems like a bachelorette party going on. So, it's marriage, right? Yeah, so it's actually a marriage. <laughs> I bet you that. Always get used to bet you that so I see them in uh, Washington, D.C. Um, but. Take that. Right. Right. So, alright, we're just gonna chill for now. I mean, we got here kind of late, so we can use at the moment, but tomorrow morning we're gonna try that out. And, um,. Take some drone shots of us like riding the jet skis which is going to be pretty freaking amazing i can't wait to edit that out and put some like music in the background and stuff so we're going to experiment with that because it's actually come on, pretty cool in my opinion um never got to shoot video with me on a jet ski okay so this, i'm going to be using the skydio 2 in case you guys know what equipment i'm going to be using and also I'm gonna be having the GoPro with me as well. So um, I'll be having first person view of me riding the jet ski. Also another view shot of drone footage. And of course this phone, basically I'm gonna use it to take pictures of the several different spots and um, places that we rolled up to um, throughout the night and throughout the day as well. So um, we are triply, awesomely excited to do that. As we walk by this marriage celebration we are going to walk down this beautiful pier here that basically goes down to a parking area where people can park their boats. These are the docks that I mentioned from before that you could rent out and leave there, come back to if you're staying at this hotel. We are coming here actually tomorrow morning to try out the jet skis when we're going to rent them. So. Um, it's going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting to actually do that. There are some attendees of the, the Lodge of the Four Seasons here. Pretty, pretty dope. Um, let's see, I'm going to walk down this area. So tomorrow morning we're going to be cruising along this lake here, I believe starting from here. Um, yes, I do actually see some jet skis down there. So probably be renting out like both of them, I mean one for each one, me and my brother, I'm with my brother right now, so um, he decides to come for the ride, for the excitement. Um, last time he was with me in Miami, uh, sorry not Miami, uh, we went to Daytona Beach. We rented out a car from Turo app, and uh, with that Corvette we had, we, um, we decided to cruise along the streets of Daytona. Now we're here at the Lake Ozarks. We decided to come here because we hear about all the exciting stories um, from this lake. 
my friend rec definitely recommended that. He was here before. So, I don't know if he ever tried uh, riding the jet skis before, but um, if I try that out, I mean, at least I'll be the first to tell him that you know, it was awesome. Hopefully, if, if it is awesome, which I know it's, it's gonna be, so. Um, yeah, so, jet skis that we might run out. There's other two jet skis. Um, actually, there's four. So there's like two right there, if you can see that in the camera, and then two other ones, the yellow ones, which are like a little smaller. Probably faster though. So, I like to try them, try both types, and see what, what difference they have. I don't know if maybe they're, if they're smaller, um, they have like higher acceleration, and the larger ones maybe just don't have as much, but I don't know, we'll check that out tomorrow. I'm going to check in with you guys um, as we roll through the night. We have this magazine where we're checking several kind of activities that you can do. So we're actually circling, circling them off and then literally we're going to be, once we figure out the ones that we actually want to do, from there we're actually going to be saving those on Google Maps and literally um, going from there and going to these places. Um, some places are going to be open until very late at night, up until like 10 p.m. I believe. So, I think it'll be worth checking those out. And I'll be showing you guys the inside of those. All right, so, I will check with you guys in a little bit. So, so check out the pier. And it seems like this is where we rent the boats, actually. So we're gonna be coming here tomorrow morning. Ship store customer marina guest parking beyond ship store. It's not relevant. Uh, it looks like you might have to pay for life jackets, possibly $15. Uh, but this should be the place to run out the jet skis. It's closed, of course. So, this is a nice spot. People park out their yachts, boats, whatnot. This is where you grab them from. So these are all you can rent because if you look at the uh, the side of the the boat there you can see it says bombayboatrental.com so pretty much gives it away there's a lot of there's bigger sizes too whatever you know whatever you vibe with but there's different shapes and sizes the jet skis are right there there's a nice blue one and what appears to be a yellow finish. And we're actually walking up to the jet skis. Like I said, we might be using these, I'm not so sure. I like this one. This color looks really nice. I really like these, this. These are these are fast. These are huge though. These, these are for like two passengers. Son muy grandes. Son grandes. Son muy rápidos porque son. Yeah, these are. Son super grandes. It's for like three people. Dos personas caen. Three people you can put on this. Look at that space for like three dudes or women. When you're in the jet ski and you get waves like this, that can affect you. You can fall off. But, so like what's the actual solution here? So like solution is go in front of go the nose of the jet ski should be going towards the waves. So like crossing it? Crossing it into okay. the waves. Because if you go on the side you're gonna be like Shh. Yeah exactly. Lessons from a pro here, Steve. He's used the jet ski before in Colombia. In the tropical areas of Colombia. You do need to pay and then Fill it up. There's the pump right there, just like you do with a regular car. Honestly, they're both large. Um, they both actually can easily fit like three people on this thing at once. Um, and to rent these out, actually, if you're just solo, it's actually pretty uh, economical. Really cheap. Uh, I believe it's $79 or $75 uh, for. Uh, for about an hour, so it's by hourly rate, and it's like around like 79 or something. 
I am fucking excited for that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here and catch some, uh, catch some views here. These are comfy. Now these seats, these seats are leather. They have cup holders in them. Guys, look at that. Look at the platform, as in case you need it. Lake Ozarks, if you want to rent a boat for a group of people, this is definitely the one you want to do. Oh yeah, I'll be doing that next. First, getting a few shots from my phone. This is another spot where you can leave your boat, your yachts, I guess. Stepped into uh, Miller's Miller's Mike, and uh, this is a go kart racing place, and it also has an arcade too. Uh, but stepping in here, I thought it was going to be a cheesy thing, you know, for kids and stuff. Um, not much for adults, but if you look at the track and you step inside, you actually get a different feeling, and you'll see what I mean. What size? Literally, you have a spiral track bridge coming down like this and then doing a swirl and coming down there and it goes out through there and you have this basically have a second platform so I think the track is relatively big and it's got twists and turns which is always great on a, on a uh, racing go-kart track this I'm just stepping into like an arcade place Pretty cool. Yeah, time price is more. House of the Dead War. Man stands for evolution. Classic games over here. It's like my all-time favorite game for arcades. Time Crisis 4. Of course, House of the Dead. Part 4. Man stands for evolution. Step inside Miner, Miner's mics. Oh. Looks like some kind of restaurant. <laughs> I was expecting something else for a second. I was like, I was like, what? Is it? oh, it's like a, it's like a train station. Just, just about. Oh, it's like a. They call those things uh, playground stuff for kids. Carousel looks really neat. So at home, folks at home, I'm about to try the go kart at uh, Miller Mike's, and uh, I'm official now. Because once you pay, they give you these uh, this necklace here uh, that gives you the pass to actually use the go karts. So, so let's do this. Uh, we have uh, my brother getting a ticket. So. This about to go down. Check this out. Get this to ourselves, kids. Just me. Oh no, there's one dude over there. After this, we'll probably uh, try other ones too uh, throughout the night. Lots of those, lots of races. This employee over here. We're gonna see how good he is. Where is he at? He's actually right there. That was, that was pretty fun. 
This, this go-kart had turbo boost. I didn't know how to use it. Apparently you hold it down and you can like go faster. All right, all right, second place. Second go-kart place. The place is called... Grand Rally Go-Karts. Like so we're about to head in for the second map. Good. No ball there. If you just want to catch you come to the back hill here, if you could turn around, I'll come out there and help you. And at the end, just stay tuned to both the other parts. For our go karts. You have double carts here, and then just single carts. So. Uh, which ones do we? Uh... Uh, I can direct you to the, to the quickest two. Okay. Number 12 and number 6 will probably be the best Gotcha. I'll take blue because blue is my favorite color. Time for complicated complications. Oh shit. Day two, jet ski time. Ready for a ride? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Walking down to the rentals. Blue, my favorite color. And got my backpack, of course. And I have it on GoPro. So I'm taking some, taking some first person view of the action so you guys can see what's out there in the waters, right? So I'm waiting for my brother right now. As soon as he gets out, I'm gonna get on the jet ski and head to the water. Right now. 
So, my drone fell again! No! That's another uh, a thousand down the drain. Um, I was trying to grab it and it fell in the water. Um, you might think I'm like, I should be crying right now, but the thing is that I've lost it. Probably like, I've lost two drones by now, so like, by the third one, I'm like, eh, you know, I know it's, it's a lot of money, obviously, but um, I mean, there's, there's nothing to like, sober about, cry, cry about, so, but anyway. So me and my brother, we're gonna head back. My brother wants to have a, uh, he wants to get a, um, a Mavic Mini. So we're gonna go to Best Buy, see if we can grab one and, and do some more drone shots. The drone shots that we did were actually really, really cool. So if we, we're gonna try to see if we can get another chance of doing it. And hopefully we can do like another session, another operation and do it successfully this time. And actually be a little bit more smart about it. <coughs> Trying to land the drone in the middle of the water is the middle of a lake is not really too smart. Think about it, because you do have to catch it on time. So, um, so we're gonna head back, grab another one, see what we can do, and we'll we'll check back. We have to get back because our hourly rate is about to expire. Uh, we're gonna pay for another hour to get back on the water. I love doing this, so I'm gonna do it again, and uh, I'll see you guys in a few. All right, once we're back on the shore. Hey, folks. So. We drove up to a place um, outside like the main um, tourist areas where the lakes are and more to the outskirts, I would say. Um, this place that we're actually at right now is called Ha Haunt. Sorry, it's called, we're in Ha Ha Tonk Castle Ruins, I believe what it's called. And um, right now we just have access to a beautiful um, scenery. Um, close to sunset pretty much so we have this amazing view here I'm about to walk out there and show you guys this peacefulness here um, but this is like we're at the main entrance where you're about to actually um, get into seeing like the ruins um, so there's a if I turn the camera here if this allows me to here we go so you have um, a piece of what the ruins are um, but the main castle is not here, it's actually out towards um, that end up ahead. So we're gonna check that out. But before that, I'm gonna take some pictures here, um, show you guys the, um, the actual scenery here. Um, let's, once this group moves out, of course, there's some cars pulling up as well. This is where we parked at. So we're walking right up to it. Looks really nice. Fortunately, you can't enter the castle. There's like a sign right here. Do not enter castle. But here it is in its glory.
So I'm at a nice spot to eat and dine out. H H two Bar and Grill is what it's called. And uh, here's what it looks like. Hey everyone, to get your attention, I arrived and stopped at St. Louis. Since we're on the way home, I wanted to actually check out the Gateway Arch. We was driving by and we saw this huge structure. We're like, is that the Gateway Arch in St. Louis? I wasn't even sure. And then we got closer to him, like, indeed, it is the arch. And here it is in St. Louis. This is my first time seeing this. Look at it, beauty. That beautiful arch. Perfect design, very shiny. Reflects off of the sun. I'm gonna get up and close and personal with this. Hey, enough. Yeah, for Memphis. So, let's walk up. It's freshly squeezed, a little mini here, freshly squeezed. This is the arch up close and personal. Super hard material. It's like sheet metal. I'm not sure what the interior is made out of. Maybe like some kind of concrete or something. But it's pretty cool to touch it for the first time. People be writing like their names on it and stuff like that. And you can get in too. Seems to be some kind of museum in there. And uh, we spoke to like a couple there. They said that the opening was on the other side. We went, we went to the wrong way, the wrong one. We gotta search for the opening. But inside the arch. It's a fountain, but it's not fully on. Probably because it's a holiday. Columbus Day. All right, I'm gonna check this out. Let's see what they got. No alcohol, no pets. People seem to hate pets over here. Oh, princess, I'm eating. Oh, shit. Yeah. Princess, and you didn't Jesus accept. Jesus Christ. You need an access card to get in. You gotta get a ticket again? Oh, dude, it's gonna take a long time. Dude. Oh, my God. We just been passing by. What the hell? Yo, they got TSA checkpoints here? <laughs> What's this? Is this the airport? You have to get on the spaceship. Where am I at? Yo, it's security checkpoint. Yeah, look at this.
Up and close and personal to the or old court or yeah, can't use speak old courthouse. Mira, aquí es so this had a this had something to do with Dred Scott. If you guys know who Dred Scott is. Um, I didn't know until my brother brought up on his phone. Um, one of the enslaved African Americans uh, trying to fight for freedom, um, basically, and he was trying to, uh, you know, when you're when you're a slave, you know, back then, I mean, it's you get a lot of shit, um, and I mean, he, was, he had a wife at the time and stuff, so he had to sacrifice his own life um, for uh, just to get their freedom back, right? So. He had to, I believe he had to come to this court. Um, he tried to sue, but he was unsuccessful at it. But this this is the courthouse um, where the trials happened for him. There's actually a statue right out in front of this courthouse, right off to the left right there. We're gonna walk over to it. Um, right there shows the depiction of him and his wife. And this is it from the front. So check this out. In the first time, they were just eating the flowers. They didn't care about the flowers. They didn't care about the flowers.